Hello humans, Master Dinner Flax here, bringing you the low quality content you deserve. And today I'll be going over Phantom Knights. Now, uh, obviously the new link isn't out yet, but it's going to be out in about nine days. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and test it and see how good it is. And it is pretty powerful. Um, the fact that you can't link um, it into something else kind of sucks. But at the same time, I know for a fact that that's the better choice. They, I'm very glad that when they give archetypes links, they're starting to do that. And it has fantastic arrows, so it's not like you're out of link summoning anyways. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, three of the famous three, um, you need to max out on these. These guys are the most powerful. They're your engine, pretty much. Like, nothing else is your engine. It's just these three. But I do play a Fragile Armor, just because of the new Link, how it just sends directly from deck. Uh, you can really use this guy pretty well, and not to mention, he's just a big, he's got a big ass. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the only reason to draw a big ass, and he's always a Link material, and he's always a good card to toss with these next cards. I don't know how good they are, because I've never drawn this guy, but I've drawn this guy twice. But I had a lure in that hand, so I don't know how good these are. But in theory, it's like, this in a monster is the Link 3, because you just toss whatever monster, hopefully one of these guys, summon this, grab Instant Fusion, uh, Instant Fuse into usually this, sometimes this, and then you make the Link 3, but that's never happened yet. And then finally, we got a tour guide engine of three Lilith and one actual tour guide. Now, Lilith is pretty cool because not most of your engine is uh, normal traps. Well, most of your trap engine is actually normal traps now. So, uh, you can use her effect pretty well. She's a pretty good draw. Um, and she's always an alert target that you can bring back with Levier. And when you bring her back with Levier, she's 2,000. And that's a big number. And obviously tour guide. So for the spells we got triple alert, triple instant fusion, just to help make the link quicker because the link's really powerful. Uh, same with soul charge and reborn, just to help make the link quicker. Uh, Rota, foolish, and for the traps we got triple mist claws. This card's insane. Um, so phantom knights uh, back in the day used to burn out really quick. Um, they would burn out because they just didn't have a weight. Like, they had triple Levier, but they were still banishing too much of their stuff uh, too fast. But with this, you can g grab back some of that stuff. Um, and when you're grabbing it back like boots, it's better to grab it back than to, you know, just, like, not, I guess. Like, certain things you want to have in hand for later. And this card is pretty powerful. He also has a grave effect, but I've never used it. It's usually just the recycling effect. And we got Impermanence, triple of it, it's searchable with Lilith, and it's a hand trap. Two wings and one ring. Ring is at, uh, not, uh, Phantom Knight's a wrong, uh, magnet ring. Um, it's a negate attack for one attack, however, that's not what I really use it for. It's also a, uh, it's kind of like a destiny draw at the same time, so I really, uh, like this card. Um, and obviously this is one of the ones that acts as monster born in the graveyard during either player's turn. It's like a quick effect Mizuki. And then of course the three fog blade. Not only is it disruption, but it's also a proactive card, which is why it's so necessary in this deck. For the extra deck, we got two fusions. Uh, no thousand eyes, which I thought was weird. Um, it wasn't coming up enough and it millennium eyes does most of what you want it to do anyways. But it's also a card, you can just activate it going first, activate all your lure, activate all your search cards, and if they ash or droll you, you just equip it, and that's fine. Um, for the XCs, we got the two um, darts for the three break sword. I think it is overkill. I think you only need one... Um, I really think you only need uh, two break swords, so I think one is cuttable. But two Leviers has come up a lot. Um, this deck banishes itself to death most of the time. Not to mention, you also have a lure. So, like, if you lure away a Lilith, you can revive that back and get some pluses. So that's pretty cool. 
And then we got the one Dante. If you just can only make a rank three, this is your like turn one play. And then for the links, we got Unicorn. Too rusty. Uh, this card is the one I'm talking about. Uh, it's it, the more I play it, the more I learn about it. Um, not only since it's a Phantom Knight, you can revive it back with like Fog Blade and Wings, but at the same time. You don't actually need to XZ summon a monster to where it points to. You just need to special summon an XZ monster to a zone it points to. So if you have this up and you kill your own break sword, you can revive that back that break sword and pop another one of their cards. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we got Phoenix and Underclock Taker. This is usually the link climb into a uh, big guy because uh, if you like turn one Dante or Levier. Like, Levier's obviously not a dark, nor is Dante, but you can just turn them into this, and that's two of the three materials you need. And for the side deck, doesn't really matter. So, yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I really want to test this deck more. Um, they got, like, there's a lot more engines I want to try with it, but right now I just want to keep it pretty pure. So I can test what the deck does as the engine itself, like, no BAs. Nothing like that, because, like, if I play BAs, the extra deck's gonna be way too tight, and I just don't want to do that. So, yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching, and remember, Master Dinner Flex will take your soul.